Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So looking at the equity markets, we still had a bit of a negative day yesterday as the markets kind of thought about uh, the potential slowdown in China. The, uh, the latest data coming out of there has been not so great today as well this morning, but uh, we had this kind of sell off off the session lows, but managing to stay above 17,561, which is great. And we've had a bit of a bounce there a short-term bounce anyway, uh, off, the, off that potential support level. But we are getting capped by those two moving averages as they just begin to, uh, to flatten closer and closer together. Other technicals relatively neutral, though you still have uh, that, that sell signal and the slow stochastic that is adding technical weight. Most other global equity markets are kind of struggling this morning, to be honest, as well. So quite a negative day. At one point, the Germany 30 was down about 300 points yesterday. So that gives you a bit of an idea as to the malaise in the market. Looking at the UK 100, this looks ugly. It had a really bad day yesterday. Like not not as bad as what we had on, uh, on Thursday after the ECB, but um, still is like over a two percent move down. Uh, getting closer now to 60.73, and we're quite keenly focusing, uh, floating around this potential area right here as well, uh, which could add a bit of short-term pain because we have a lot of room to go before we get to 60.73. So um, that does open itself up for a little bit of potential weakness. Look at the moving averages. We were just about to get a golden cross and that's long gone now. So it's actually gone the, the other direction now. We've got a death cross on there. Um, MACD's crossing the zero line. Sell signal and slow stochastic. Gives you an idea about where we are right now. So from a technical perspective, UK 100 uh, has, a, has a lot of pressure on it. Japan 225, similar kind of pattern. But if I just get my drawing tool out here, uh, let's just try and attempt to draw a trend line. See that trend line was actually broken a little while ago. Um, quite a strong move to the downside. Seven, uh, 19,104 is the next potential support, and that was a support from the 9th of July uh, earlier on this year. So then moving on to dollar yen. Dollar yen, um, begin to see a little bit more yen buying as a safe haven asset. Uh, bearish engulfing pattern yesterday. Uh, an acceleration this morning. We're currently trading towards the bottom end of its range as we speak. Uh, and then looking at West Texas crude, uh, it briefly hit $36, almost going into $35 territory before it had a bit of a bounce. Intraday charts, uh, crude is up about a percent. It's at $37.71 right now, just below $38. Pretty much uh, hovering around this potential support level that we had from August 24th. So then looking at gold, gold is slowly uh, having a bit of a, a bounce from 1,072. Albeit we were trading below it yesterday, uh, that 21 period SMA potentially adding a little bit of support. We're already off the session high, so uh, this looks like it's not going to be doing a huge amount today either. Um, dollar yen, not your dollar yen, but euro dollar, sorry. Having a very strong bounce. The, the USD seems to be taking a little bit of a breather at the moment. You've seen uh, the yen advance at the expense of the dollar. Euro dollar is ticking up and cable when we look at it is also moving higher. So we've had that bounce of 1.0819 on, uh, on, on the euro uh, with that short term potential resistance being 1.0981, which is the tip of the candle here from Thursday. And then looking at GBP USD, uh, we are off the session lows. Uh, we had broken below one spot 50.27. We've reversed course and we've got our head above there right now with one spot 51.10 being the next potential support. Um, but longer term, you're still in this kind of downtrend on, uh, on cable. So economic data wise, um, we had some CPI information come out. Uh, year on year was slightly better than expected. Um, PPI came in as expected. Looking at manufacturing in China, that came in much better than expected. Uh, so the forecast was minus zero, uh, minus 1.5, came in at 10.7. That's very, very strong, uh, which is maybe part of the reason why we're seeing that big um, increase in the Japanese yen as well as the safe haven aspect. And of course, we've got crude oil inventory data due uh, later on today. If you're trading crude oil, that's going to be a very interesting one and a good one to have a look at as well. Fast forwarding on to Thursday, still more, um, still more uh, Asian data. Uh, you've got a corporate good price index, corporate goods price index in Japan, followed by broad money M2, uh, basically money loaning lending in Japan and China, sorry. And then you've got the interest rate, um, Bank of England rate uh, hike, not hike, but uh, the decision making process. That's at 12 UK time. Then you have the employment data 
uh, from uh, the US as well at 1.30. So that gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect today and tomorrow. Keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.